Now, if you've had a tough time assembling IKEA bookshelves or sofas, uh, trust me, I know, just imagine the headaches the Swedish company's bosses are having right now. The European Competition Commissioner, Margrethe Vestager, is looking into whether the Netherlands gave two IKEA divisions unfair tax advantages. A report by the Greens Party in the European Parliament alleges the group avoided more than $1.2 billion in taxes between 2009 and 2014. Inter IKEA says it and its unit, Inter IKEA Systems, are committed to paying their taxes. An EC spokeswoman confirmed an investigation is underway. We have concerns that uh, two Dutch uh, tax rulings from 2006 and 2011 may have allowed Inter IKEA to pay less tax and given them an unfair advantage compared to other companies subject to the same national taxation rules in the Netherlands, which would, if confirmed, be in breach of EU state aid rules. Let's get more on this now with our editor-at-large, Craig Peters, who's live for us in Paris. Craig, welcome as ever. What else do we know about this case? Well, you better stock up on your IKEA meatballs before <laughs> they lose their tax-exempt status, thanks to uh, uh, St. Margarita, the Vestager. Uh, what we know about this case is we've been here before. Uh, uh, she's done the same thing with Apple, with uh, Starbucks, McDonald's, the French energy company Energia. She's done it with uh, Anheuser-Busch. She's done it with BASF. They're doing it to a, a whole bunch of folks in England w uh, because they ha the conservative government there enacted some beneficial tax schemes that were designed to attract companies to set up their HQ in the UK. And at the end of the day, as are the EU does not have a direct role in raising taxes in Europe. Ah, it doesn't. They don't. It's not written in the Constitution. It doesn't, but you could argue that Margrethe Vestager and her uh, lot at the Commission are a are police force uh, of, of sorts, uh, and they don't need to be elected. It's that kind of thinking that forced the UK out of Europe, which was a sad day. Mm. It's that kind of thinking uh, that, that, uh, that Vestager and her cohorts there are using to try and create an EU super state. Okay. But Look, let's, let's, get, let's get back to IKEA the, the, for the, a the, second. Go okay. ahead. Well, let's, let's get back to IKEA for a second. But, so how mm. does this case differ from all of those other cases that you mentioned earlier? Apple and Amazon and uh, Fiat, Starbucks? It, 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 it really doesn't. It just involves uh, uh, beneficial uh, uh, tax structures that were set up respectively in the Netherlands and in Luxembourg, which, by the way, is the home of EU Commission President Jean-Claude Jean Juncker, who was the former finance minister and prime minister of, of Luxembourg, and helped establish uh, these types of financial facilities that allow low taxation. Craig, uh, can IKEA afford to fall foul of the European Commission? IKEA, uh, like all of the other companies the commission is going after, will fight this in court. And it's going to be like the Friday night fights. And watching which, if, who wins this battle, regardless of the company, the winner is going to have a lot to say about the future of the European Union. I think you've got to remember something. The European Union is not Denmark. If you want to go after companies, let me briefly tell you what happened today in France. At the Paris Commerce Court, the French government, who has the authority to levy taxes, not the EU, uh, uh, filed charges against Amazon for abusing its dominant position uh, uh, over more than 10,000 French companies by uh, changing contract terms or suspending terms without notice. Uh, Amazon's getting fined $11.8 million, or, or if, they, if they lose the case. Now, this is the kind of the case that the EU should be bringing, not these grand sweeping uh, cases against sovereign nations who are offering companies uh, better tax deals than Denmark or right. Sweden or wherever. Right. You have to pick and choose. Craig Peters in Paris. Thank you ever so much.